Oh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the book time reading. It's gl I'm glad to see you all. Let's see who's here. I see Ethan. Hi, Ethan. See, I see your green jacket. Awesome. Let's see who else is here. Caspian. Hey, Caspian. We want to see you also have your family members with you. That's awesome. Let's see who else is here. Aaron, I see you. Is your little brother also joining you today? Ah, yeah, there he is. <laughs> All right, there's also Sky. What's up, Sky? All right, there's also Jayla. Hi, Jayla. All right, cool. Like I said, glad you guys all decided to join the book time reading today. Hope you guys all have your stuffed animals with you. Do you guys have your stuffed animals? Let's see. Who has a stuffed animal with them? Oh, I see Jayla has a stuffed animal. Let me see. It's a cute little kitten. Ooh, Ethan has a nice, cool shark. Ooh, Caspian and his giant Pikachu. Let's see, any other stuffed animals? Oh, I see a parrot with Aaron. All right. Let's see. <laughs> All right. All right, and I heard there was a lot of leprechauns going around school today. You guys find any leprechauns? Let's see. No, none of you guys found a leprechaun? Oh, what about gold? Did you guys find any gold? No gold? What about rainbows? Did you guys see at least any rainbows at school today? No. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And I see a lot of you. Guys, Ethan, you have a lot of stuffed animals with you, don't you? All right. Well, I'm glad they're all going to be joining you for the book time reading today. And let's see. Sky, what do you have? Is that a giant dolphin? Oh, it's a seal. It's a giant seal. All right. And let's see. All right. And like I said, we're going to get our book reading started. We're going to get our book reading started real soon. So make sure you guys, like I said, you guys have everything you guys might want for the book reading. And remember, at the end of the book reading, we're going to do our little raffle and see who can win the book. All right. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Caspian, are you, coming, are you showing me some more stuffed animals? I see you, like, <laughs> back to grabbing stuff. Hello, everybody. I've uh, really, I've looked through my closet to find all the green things that I could find. And I found this from uh, my son. Who do you think I am? Anybody know who I am? Say it again. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda, that's right. Baby Yoda. Yeah, I don't. I see the green, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys, we're having some technical, we're working out the technical stuff right now. Getting everybody in. Awesome. All right, guys, so if you are at home, I'm going to ask you to mute your uh, microphone so that we don't end up talking over each other. You guys, some of you guys haven't met Mr. Thompson. Everybody say hi, Mr. Thompson. Hi, Mr. We're having a few technical glitches we're working out. So Mr. Thompson has been has been uh, greeting everybody and uh, seeing making sure you're wearing green. You guys all have some green on, right? Because you know what day it is. Hey, right? That's why I got this hat on. I'm getting really hot, though. I got to take the hat off. Okay. So, for those of you guys who haven't met Mr. Thompson, everybody say hi, Mr. Thompson. Hi, Mr. Thompson. Hello, everybody. Hi, Mr. Thompson. Hi. Right. So, Mr. Thompson was uh, talking to everybody about their leprechaun adventures today. Because, you know, today, of course, is St. Patrick's Day. Yep. Right? Woohoo! Woo so anyway, so Kenny couldn't be with us today, so we brought his favorite stuffed animal, BB. And then, of course, we brought panda. Can you guys see? Of course, we brought uh, koala bear and baby koala bear, because they always come to story time, right? And we have another special guest today, special guest. Mr. Pacheco could not be here this evening, but he brought, he, he sent along his... His um, likeness. Aw, so cute. 
Oh, so cute. He's very cute. That's right. This is Mr. Pacheco. He <laughs> sent it along. This is his. He sent it along because he couldn't be here today. So he brought, uh, so he sent it along. Okay. So, uh, okay. I'm going to do, I know Soham has a question. I'm not going to do a lot of questions right now, guys, because we want to get right to our book. But Soham, can you um, see here? Okay. I, uh, I have that exact same dog. What? This one? No, the other one. Oh, BB. Yeah. yeah. I love BB. He's awesome. Um, so I am I, going to, before Mr. Wolf comes on with our main book, our, our lucky, lucky day book, um, I'm going to tell you about the story we're going to read next month. This one is called Sumo Kitty. And this is a story for next month. I'm going to tell you just a little bit about it, the goat, because I want you to get excited for it. Okay. The legend of Sumo Kitty begins with a hungry stray cat looking for a free meal. He can show sumo wrestler Kuma how to overcome his fear of mice and defeat the mighty Yokozu what, wait, Yokozuna. We're going to learn some Japanese with him. Or he will just become another fat cat. All right, see the fat cat? That's Sumo Kitty. All right, so next month we're going to learn about the art of sumo and some Japanese words and about kitties. Who likes kitties? Um, I like kitties, but I'm allergic to them. Okay, well, without further ado, we have our main event, My Lucky Day. I'm going to let Mr. Wolf take over. Mr. Wolf? Okay, I like you got him used. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wolf. Hello, everybody. Tis I, Sir Wolf. And today, Mr. Wolf, Senorito. <laughs> and today, I will be reading My Lucky Day. It's about a fox and a pig. Who knows what can happen? Are you guys ready? Everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Well, you guys got to keep yourselves muted so we can hear the book. All right. One day, a hungry fox was preparing to hunt for his dinner. As he polished his claws, he was startled by a knock at the door. You guys see that fox? What's the fox doing? See what he's doing to his claws? So he's sharpening them. I think he's oh there. no, like making oh, a no. I think he's making his claws sharp to kill like animals. To oh, eat. we don't know. All right now. Hey rabbit, yell someone yelled outside. Are you home? Rabbit, thought the fox. If there were any rabbits in here, I'd have eaten them for breakfast. <gasps> fox. Oh, he's, no, he's clueless. He doesn't know who's at the door. The pig thinks he's at Rabbit's house. When the fox opened the door, there stood a delicious looking piglet. Oh no, screamed the piglet. Oh yes, cried the fox. You've come to the right place. He grabbed the piglet and hauled him inside. Not a piggy. You guys see the piglet? It, it made a mistake. The piggy. All right. This must be my lucky day, the fox shouted. How often does dinner come knocking on the door? The piglet kicked and squealed. Let me go, let me go. Sorry, pal, said the fox. This isn't just any dinner, it's a pig roast. My favorite. Now get into the roasting pan. Can I see the piglet and the fox? Oh no. The piglet doesn't want to be there. Roasting pan. Oh no. Pig can make. No. no, no, no. It was useless to struggle, all right, sighed the piglet. I will, but there is just one thing. What, growled the fox. Well, I am a pig, you know. I'm filthy. Shouldn't you wash me first? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, said the fox to himself. He is filthy. See the fox? He sees the pig filthy. What do you think the guy, what do you think the pig's trying to do? That's good. What? Trying it's to get like a free bath and massage? The pig wants to see him. The pig wants to see him. The fox got busy. 
Yeah. Legs. Do you know what I'm trying to do? Is that me waiting? So then you're. All right, hold on, guys. Hold on. No shouting out right now. You gotta mm -hmm. read. And finally, he gave the piglet a nice bath. You're a terrific scrubber, said the piglet. I see the piglet's using the fox, right? Piglet's using the fox to get all these free, nice things. Through there, said the fox. Now you're the cleanest piglet in the county. You stay still now. All right, sighed the piglet. I will. But what? growled the fox. But, well, I am a very small piglet, you know. Shouldn't you fatten me up to get some more meat? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, said the fox to himself. He is on the small side. Yeah, I see the fox. It's seasoning the piglet. Oh, no. Wow. Seasoning the piglet. So the fox got busy. He picked tomatoes. He made spaghetti. He baked cookies. And finally, he gave the piglet a nice dinner. You're a terrific cook, said the piglet. Everyone see? The piglet's getting some free food. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> there, said the fox. Now you're the fattest piglet in the county. So get into the oven. All right, sighed the piglet. I will. But what? 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 Shouted the fox. Well, I am a hard-working pig, you know. My meat is awfully tough. Shouldn't you massage me first to make me a more tender roast? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself, I do prefer tender meat. You see the pig? It's got all the vegetables wrapped around it, ready to go. Oh, no. I think he will eat the vegetables. Oh, no. So the fox got busy. He pushed and he pulled. He squeezed and he pounded the piglet from head to toe. You give a terrific massage, said the piglet. I see the piglet using the fox for a massage. <laughs> That's funny. But the Give piglet me. continued, I've been working really hard lately. My back is awfully stiff. Could you push a bit harder, Mr. Fox? A little to the right, please. Yes, yes. Now, just a little to the left. Yeah, I see the fox is getting massage. Mm -hmm. He's... He's sweating and he he's was in this face like he he's like, gonna eat the he's gonna eat the pig. He, he wants to eat the pig. Okay, okay. We're, gonna, we're gonna find out what happens. Mr. Fox, are you there? See the pig sleeping, but uh, where where where'd Mr. Fox go? He's under the like behind But Mr. Him. Fox was no longer listening. He had passed out, exhausted. He couldn't lift a finger, let alone a roasting pan. Poor Mr. Fox, sighed the piglet. He's had a busy day. Then the cleanest, fattest, and softest piglet in the county picked up the rest of his cookies and headed for home. Yeah, I see how the piglet is, like, sleeping. Or not the piglet, the fox is sleeping, right? The piglet tired out the fox. What a <laughs> What a dinner. What a massage, cried the piglet. This must be my lucky day. See the piglet? Running away. The piglet is gonna get eaten. Oh, oh that's bad. Got home, the He's gonna get eaten. Before a warm fire. Let's He's gonna get eaten. Looking at his address book, who shall I visit next? Yeah, see the piglet. The piglet escapes the fox. Piglet makes it home safe. Yay, piglet! Oh. And uh oh, the piglet visits the bear. Uh, yeah. Maybe the bear wants to play with some pig. Did you guys like that book? You guys mm -hmm. enjoy it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 I have a dog. Yes. Wasn't the pig very clever? Yes. Yes. Yeah, but he is a smart Definitely. Pig. He's a smarty pet. Definitely. Definitely? Yep. Why did okay. you read us a happy day, All right, well, here's what we can do. I want everybody to mute themselves, and then I can call on some people that tell me their favorite thing about the book. Sound good? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Who's raising their hand? Who's raising their hand? Uh, how about Jayla? You can unmute and tell us one thing you liked about the book. 
Um, I liked how like the pig kept on giving reasons and the fox kept on falling for them because I thought that was hilarious. Awesome. How about Leonardo? Uh, my favorite part was that the fox actually believed that to make a good meal, you have to massage, you have to uh, clean, you have to uh, do all the things to make a tasty meal. Then you have to make the bear. Awesome. All right, now you better go. My favorite part is... Hold on, hold on. I'm not talking. <laughs> you can go now, you um, is there a part yeah. where he escaped? Yeah, so I wanted a movie. Okay. Yeah. So much. Awesome. All right, uh, Caspian, go. What's your favorite? My favorite part is when the fox, the fox die. Okay. <laughs> Great, let's go. The kid said my favorite part is when the fox died. Right. So, ask you what's your favorite part right now? Wait, this is for your name. All right, let's have Ethan. Go, Ethan. Where is he? I like what the fox was tired before he lay down. Okay, nice. Let's see how about Vivian. I like the fox steak out. A fire. Okay, okay. How about we have, let's see, Julia. I like the book because it was really funny. Awesome. All right, let's, uh, Gage, do you want to say something? Mm. I go. Uh, I like it. When he, the fox agreed to do all those things, <laughs> but the pig was actually tricking him. Awesome. How about Zoe? I like the part when he goes to the bear's house. Cool. Allegra? My favorite part when the fox died and also... And also when the piggy escaped. Okay, okay. Duh. Let's see. <laughs> All right. How about the other Leonardo? The other Leonardo? My favorite when the pig escaped. Awesome. Sky, go. I like when the fox fainted. Awesome, awesome. All right, everybody. Well, we're almost about to do our book drawing. So go ahead and sit tight. Make sure you guys are all ready to go. And we'll do that in a couple minutes. Okay. All right, everybody. Did you guys like that book? Yes. 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 All right, we're going to do our drawing for the book now. So we're going to pick one name from it and we'll see who's, whose lucky day it is. All I can't right. do this. I can't do this. All right, everyone ready? I'm not looking. I'm trying to do it. All right, someone tell me when to stop. Anyone want to stop? Stop. Oh, I stop. 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 All right. stop. And this person stop. is going to, drum roll, please. Aaron. Awesome, John. Aaron. No. Today is your lucky day. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to have this book ready for you the next time you come to class. Who got the book? We're going to have your name on it, and we're going to have it ready for you to go. Yeah.
right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for Story no. Class. Hi, hi, boy. All right, now, everybody remember, no. you know, the leprechauns will come and look to see if you're sleeping. So make sure as soon as we sign off, that you listen to mom and dad. And if you haven't already, brush your teeth and get ready and jump right into bed, okay? Because those leprechauns are still on the loose. Um, one time, one time, um, last night, I heard a creak and a crunch in, in, in my, in my room. Okay, well, you better go to sleep, everybody. I want to catch all right, guys. Thank you all for joining us tonight, and we'll see you guys at the next story time. And of course, we'll see you in class this week and next week. Wait, what is it? I have a dog. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.